John Deere done did it again. I've had more problems with that thing than you would believe. I put out a poll on Instagram, what should I get? The number one was Cat Bobcat Kubota. So we went to Cat and I said I need a machine and I need it today. Folks, that's right. We are building the new animal pen uh, starting today. We're not gonna get it done today. This might be a three or four day ordeal. But right now, this is where it's gonna be. You can see the shop is up there and you've got Brad's house right there. And he's actually building a big greenhouse right here. So what's cool is our farm and his farm are gonna be so close together that we can go up and check out what he's doing, what he's growing, if he's got any animals, and the same thing, they can come down and check out our farm. So we kind of unintentionally put all of our farms together. Um, so it, now it kind of looks like one big farm because his his uh, property is this fence line right here. And so he's gonna have a greenhouse here. We're gonna have the animals here. We're talking about Brooklyn's Petting Zoo, which we already got the goats for that you guys saw. We're trying to get it back in this area. Now there's all these piles here that need to be burned. So we gotta take care of that. But right now there's no way to get from the shop there's a road that comes down but there's no way to get to the actual animal pasture side and so we brought the mini and the skid unfortunately we don't have the big excavator because man we'd get this done in about four minutes but i'm gonna try my best to not hurt myself and get in the mini and knock down all these dead limbs that are kind of falling and this is basically going to be the entrance i don't really want to mess with this big tree right here there's also this really cool piece of antique farming machinery which we'll leave here but i thought that was kind of cool i don't know exactly what it does i hadn't really looked at it that hard that's going to be our entrance into the next pasture in one of the previous videos we laid out all the animals i think i said where have the animals been that video we drew it all out if you guys missed it you should go check it out and so today's objective is pull any trees that are in the way shred any trees basically mangle it all up and then we have the shredder on the skid loader and i'm going to be able to shred a perimeter where we want the fence because we right now we don't know how big the fence is going to be we don't know where exactly we want it where we want the gates and so today we need to figure that out so that way tomorrow we can go get all the materials and we can start putting posts in the ground maybe a day or two after that we can wrap fence around it and then we're going to be moving the animals we've only got a few days to get it done the sun is shining it's nice outside so the plan right now is the, the guys are cutting down one of the fence that is basically in our way and then i'm going to jump in the mini the skid's going to be waiting for me as soon as we get all this stuff knocked out, I'll jump in the skid, I'll start mowing the perimeter, and the boys can start kind of cleaning up some of these trees. Like these, all these little trees right here, they don't really provide anything. They're not gonna provide enough shade to keep, and they're really kind of in the middle of the road here. So I'm gonna take that bush hog and just start mulching these and get them all mulched, like all these little ones, all these, all that. We're gonna basically open up the pasture and take all of the trees and pile them up. There's a pile there, and there's a pile back there, and there's a pile there. So we have three burn piles right here. Brad's got a freaking kegger back there so we're gonna have a, one of these days brad and i are gonna have a burn party and we're gonna light everything on fire that way if my house catches his house catches and we all go file insurance claims or something so anyways that being said let's jump in the mini and knock down some trees stay tuned I'm getting in the skid, big old bush hog. It's time to hog some bushes, you know, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that really. That's what the kids call it nowadays. It's time to slide around. We're gonna go hog some bushes. Stay tuned.
rated for that or no? No, not at that, all. The hydraulics were not having that. Yeah, yeah you're I mean, sliding all over. Yeah, it's greasy out here, boys. I thought, man, it's like 65 out here. I didn't realize there'd be so much slime. We've been waiting to do the fence for this reason. I thought, oh, it's, it'll be dry. Look, at, it's soaked. It hasn't, like, that, the thing is, that's frozen. Look at this, that's frozen, that's ice. That's our problem, is you've got a quarter inch of grease on top of ice, no traction. So we're probably not gonna use the grapple because the skid, the thing that I like about the mini is you can put the mini in one place and work. In order for the skid to work, you gotta be moving. And so since it's so greasy, what I'll probably do is it's a little slower going, but probably use the mini to pile everything up versus the grapple on the skid. Plus, I don't think I get the skid back up the hill. We're gonna have to let this thing dry out out here for a little while, so. But, I mean, just that little bit. And now you can see where the pasture is gonna be. Back in here, knocked all these trees down. So now, we do have stumps to deal with. We can either leave them, because as long as our fence isn't up against them, who cares? Or I can sit there with the mini and I can dig them out. Mulching but, head. Or mulching head and just I mean, that th you give it enough time, that thing will do it. Anyways, I try to clear, so now you can see this is where, this is the petting zoo. We're kind of imagining the fence going behind those piles, maybe in a triangle formation, and have that road come down here. But, I mean, I knocked all these, you know, all those stumps are not great. Like I said, so I'll either come back when it's less greasy and just mulch, I think I can just mulch them down, really. But all these limbs, all of these guys, we're gonna have to use the mini and basically cherry pick them try to get them in one at one of these piles or at least get them in a pile let it thaw out and then use the skid we just got to get them out of the way we're going to work on that but then i'm also i'm going to jump in back in the skid loader and i'm going to start mowing the perimeter i'm going to figure out where exactly we want the holding pasture which that's where you see most of the animals like where we feed them there's a lot they call it a dry lot and then they have the pasture behind them so i'm going to go mow the dry lot and make sure we like where it is lay it all out we got to figure out how many gates how many posts all that stuff like that and then while the shredder's here, assuming I don't go sliding off the hill, I'm gonna try mowing the full pasture. Not mow, don't mow the pasture, but mow the trail that we're gonna use to basically put up the fence so we ex know exactly where the fence is gonna be. So we're gonna fly the drone up. You'll see where the cut grass is, is exactly where the fence is gonna be. So we can fly it up, look at it, see if it looks like a bag of weenies or not, and go from there. So stay tuned. So to the untrained eye, that doesn't look like a problem. For an operator who enjoys operating in the winter, you would notice that's ice. That, that's ice right there. And believe it or not, I'm stuck. Okay, you'll take a look at it. You'd say, how are you stuck? I'm stuck. So we're gonna use the mini. And it, this is why we don't do stuff in the winter. Like today has already taken twice as long as it should have because it's winter. We can't get the grapple, we can't get, like, so much has already gone wrong, and now I'm like, this is why we don't do things in the winter. This is why. And I got, I got, you know, anxious, 60 degrees out, and that's what I get. I'm stuck. That thing is so heavy. When I go forward, I go back. And we already had one incident where we hit a tree and it cost six grand worth of damage, so I'm gonna try to avoid that. So we're gonna take the mini, crawl it up here, chain it to the front of that, and use the mini to swing my nose. But you can see what I'm doing, I'm, I'm mowing a path all the way down. That's where the new fence will go. And Jake's been Jake's been taking down this old fence here. The old fence was just for horses. It wasn't really, you know, for Ralph. This, this would not hold Ralph for two seconds, so. All right, well, let's see if I can get spun back around here and not hit a tree. Dumbest thing you ever seen, isn't it? Yeah. It's just an ice ring. It just couldn't it's move. just a sheet of ice. Why is it ice? Like that's just that's that's frozen water. <laughs> it's April. What? It's almost April. Yeah. You see what I have? If you I didn't have him, slipping. I would have just went right into the ditch. There's a little slack in the chain, and you start spinning it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try not to get stuck and get the rest of this mud. Shoo! All right, 
we got the perimeter mowed and Kate got all the trees consolidated as much as they really can be for right now. So we got the trail that kind of goes all the way around. So we're going to run the fence here, leaving this as our roadway here, just like it is now, kind of at the other house. Uh, so I'm going to jump in the skid and do a lap where I believe the actual big pasture fence should go. Again, there's still lots, lots of tree branches stuff to clear, but I should be able to go do a circuit all the way around and then basically come back and make the dividing fence as well. And then like we should be able to fly the drone and see exactly where the fence is going to be. We can make adjustments from there. And then we're ready to start build. Stay tuned. old John Deere done did it again. I've had more problems with that thing than you would believe, okay? And I've talked to a ton of guys. Like, is this normal? And everyone's like, no. Your machine has less than 300 hours on it. You shouldn't have had to do nothing but an oil change, okay? And so far, I think with everything, I've put in somewhere between fifteen dollars and $20,000 in this thing over the last three years with under 300 hours. And it's that was the final straw. You saw it blowing smoke. They think it's an injector. They don't know. They're tearing it apart. But I said hell with it. I'm getting a new one. And I didn't want to get a new one because I did get a good deal on the John Deere. I got it at a reasonable price, like a pre-COVID price, back when they would knock like 10 grand off MSRP. Yeah, nowadays they don't do that. And I got 60 month, 0% financing, $0 down. So my payment was low. I was paying no interest. I got it for like 50 some thousand, 60 some thousand bucks, um, which is a lot of money, but for a skid loader nowadays, no, it's not. I was like, I was just, I'm like, just fix it. We'll just keep using it. Just fix it. We'll keep using it. And these bills are adding up more than if I just go get a new one and didn't have the repair bills. So I put out a poll on Instagram. What should I get? The number one was Cat. The second one was Bobcat. Third one was Kubota. And then I think I had the fourth one as ASV, uh, which like 3% of you guys picked that. Because I don't think no one really runs them. I've heard they're really good machines, but they're not all that common. So we went to Cat first and I said, I need a machine and I need it today. And they said, no can do, sir. I said, okay, well, how soon can you get it? Ah, uh, maybe next week. I said, okay, maybe that's not a problem. How much is it? 82,000. Oh, no high okay. Yeah, you got high flow? No, we ain't got high flow. How much is high flow? Six. Oh, so we're at 88,000. What's your financing? 0% for 24 months. I'm like, 24 months on $90,000, that's going to be five grand a month. I don't have that kind of money. So I'm like, what about 36 or 48 or 60 months? Oh, that's four or 5% interest. Now I'm going to pay four or 5% interest right now. I'm paying nothing. So not only could I not get it that day, but it was almost $90,000 and they had to add the high flow and their financing suck and they didn't have any that I could even drive. So all you cat lovers, I get it. You guys like overpaying for things. That's your thing. Okay. You, you just do with that what you want. I've heard their service is great, but if the machine doesn't suck, you shouldn't need the service anyway. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just throwing it out there. So we literally went across the street to Kubota. Okay, and I wasn't about the Kubota life just because no one really said to get them. The only thing I liked about the Kubota was the door. It opens up over your head and it doesn't swing out. So you can operate it with the door open. And when we're doing farm chores, that's great. Doing hay and putting in T-posts, we can talk to each other. It's amazing. Some guys don't like the slide up. I get it. I, what I don't like is and hitting the door on the boom because it's an inch too high. If you know, you know. So I went into Kubota. Do you guys have anything that's the right size? Yes. High flow? Yes. Do you have good financing? Yes. Zero percent interest for 36 months zero money down I'm like okay how much is it 70,000 70,000 that's like 15 to 18 grand cheaper than cat for the same thing it does the same thing it scoops poop just as good and it puts hay in the hay feeder just as good and there's better financing and I said okay here's the kicker can you get it today oh we can't get you that today okay when can I get it sometime next week I said I need it today or I'm gonna go to Bobcat 
that's right down the road. Okay, give me a second. Buddy walks in the room, he comes back out and says, give us an hour. And wa-bam, we got ourselves a freaking Kubota, okay? I know you haters. Flair, that thing sucks. Nobody uses Kubota. We have to get a bobcat. Listen, Rick, that thing scoops manure just like your cat that you overpaid for. Don't be mad at me, all right? I'm just saying. So we got a Kubota. Was it my first choice? No. Did I want to spend $90,000 on an overpriced scalar that does the same thing as everybody else and have a 5% interest rate? No. Did I go to Bobcat? No, I didn't give Bobcat a chance, I'll be honest. But I have heard good things about these guys and I like their door. That's it. I like their door. That's why I bought it, because I like their door, okay? Uh, no one else had this door, and I like this door. And some of you guys might be thinking, Flair, you, don't, you, you won't like the door when it does this. Kiss my ass. I like it right now, and that's all that matters, okay? So, I got a Kubota SVL 75-2. And if it sucks, I'll let you know, okay? If it explodes like the John Deere, I will let you know. I have no relationship with Kubota. I have no relationship with John Deere. And after they see my videos, I never will, okay? And I'm willing to accept that. And I'm not saying John Deere skillers are crap. The one I got was. Doesn't mean they all are. I've heard great things. I have friends that have had them, and they have no problem, okay? Um, so, you own a John Deere tractor. Suckers never had an issue. I have a John Deere mini excavator. Never had a problem. So I'm not hating on John Deere. I'm just telling you the skid loader that I got sold. Lemon. This guy, hopefully not. So we got good price. 15, say 15 grand from going with a cat and got 0% interest, zero money down, and the the people that were there working on it were viewers. So I was like, you know what? If I have a problem with it, they're going to help us out. And they're like, yeah, we'll drive up and take care of it if you ever have any issues. And it had high flow, and they didn't want an extra $7,000 for high flow, which was nice. Oh, rip. Is that Eugenio? Uh-oh, Eugenio's pissed. All right, you want to move? You want to get out of the way for Eugenio? Eugenio, Eugenio's mad. He's still working on the house. So anyways, we bought a new skid loader, okay? We... Use the John Deere down there to get the animal fence ready. We were pretty much done for the day. And then uh, we had to go shred a couple more areas so we can get the fence ready. And it quite literally exploded. And I have yet to get the bill back for that. Um, so am I going to get rid of the John Deere? 110% because I'm tired of this thing. It needs to work. The thing about this, I'll give you guys a tour. It doesn't have many electronics. It doesn't have a backup camera. It don't have the bells and whistles. Okay. And you might be thinking, dang. For 70 grand, it should have something. I thought the same thing, but it is what it is, okay? It, it, the thing is, the guy was like, the electronics are the things that go bad. So, I, and I, I don't disagree because my John Deere had all sorts of code issues, electric issues, and I just want this thing to run the way it needs to run and be a workhorse. Will I regret it? I don't know. But like I said, I will be 100% honest with you guys. If this thing sucks, I'll let you know. If I think it's overpriced, I'll let you know. What do you think, Eugenio? Yeah. What are you working on? Yeah. I'm gonna go look something right there. Oh, at Brad's house? Yeah, but I'm still working. You're still, I hope so. There's still a lot to do, Eugenio. You're yeah. doing great. Where's the chickens? The, where's the chickens? Yeah. To eat or eggs? Eggs. Uh, I'll have to bring you some. I'll bring you some next time, okay? All right, thanks, Eugenio. Eugenio wants some eggs. We got to bring him some eggs. He, he's a big egg guy. All right, so. That thing's still in reverse or no? No. She's, Is it off? She's in, she's in, uh, park and I turned her off. Oh, she just likes to have those white lights on? You see those? You want me to check? <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, no, no, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, I, I I didn't I thought it was on. I'm like, well, you're definitely no, in reverse still. Just... Okay. All right. You guys want to tour this sucker? Enough enough blabbering. I just had to give you the full story because I already know the comments. Oh my god, Flea, you're such an idiot. Why would you break your booty? All right, just relax. Watch this. Shit. This is why I bought it. You ready? Talk about Lamborghini. Yeah, I bet yours don't do that, does it? Come in here, dude. Look. Look at this. You like that? Yeah. I mean, air ride, and you ain't got the freaking. Yeah. The head knocker. That's what cats look like. So cat had this, but yeah, no backup camera, which we're gonna add one because, yeah, dude, there's no bells and whistles. Like, let me show you. There's no. This looks like it's from the 1800s. Okay, there's two gauges. That's it. There's a, like three buttons here. Don't know what two of them do. Windshield wiper. I don't know what that does. And that releases your attachment. Oh, look at. I mean, look at the AC system. That looks like a from a Pontiac from the 90s or something. I mean, the thing's freaking. It's, it's bare bones. And for 70 grand, you would have thought you could have something nicer. But again, it is what it is. And from what I've heard, all the bells and whistles. That's what breaks. So you can operate it with this open. That's what I like. So if I'm operating, I'm like looking. I'm get a bale of hay. Cut the bale. Get back it. You know how easy that is. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sit here and open it, but you might be thinking, well, what about the dust? What if it's cold out? You just grab onto these little suckers. Bam. It's easy. It's not hard. And then it locks if you want it. If you want to lock it out, it's like that. It's quick. It's easy. Again, it like imagine like T posts. Like mm -hmm. you can actually talk to each other. It's like, hey, can you can you get me a can you get me a knife? Versus right now, you just talk to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. We're used to that. Mm -hmm. From what I've heard people that just use these for kind of farm stuff, like chores like we do, great. 
If you're grading a, you know, a parking lot for a new Walmart, maybe not, I don't know. But like, this seems like a farm chore machine, maybe not so much a construction machine. But we don't do a whole lot of construction, we do farm chores. And like I said, it's got high flow and everything. So we are going to get this thing fired up. We have to, the shredder's still on the trailer because we basically loaded, you guys saw we loaded the John Deere, we dropped the shredder and we dropped the John Deere off with no attachments. We have the shredder here, so we need to get this thing off, flip it around and grab the shredder. We are gonna shred down there which I'll show you guys. That's where we're gonna have a new parking lot for all the trailers. We're gonna shred that today, try the high flow out, and then we're gonna grab the grapple. And you guys saw when we were clearing everything for the animal pasture, it was so muddy and slickery that we couldn't actually, we had to use the mini. Cade was crawling out the mini all day and it was really slow because the mini is really slow. So now that it's kind of dried up a little bit and we're in hopefully a better machine, we're gonna grab the grapple, we're gonna go down there and we're gonna consolidate all the brush piles. And I'll give you guys a full recap. Like I said, if this thing sucks, I will be 100% honest with you guys. My first impressions are, it can't be worse than John Deere. There's no way. Not not worse than John Deere, worse than the mine. Again, I'm not trying to hate on them. It's just mine had issues that no one had ever seen before. I talked to Chad the Dirt Guy and he's like, never heard of it. Like, that's crazy that you, you put 300 hours on this thing and put 20 grand into it and we give our animals hay. That's it. And we shred a few things occasionally. We don't work them hard. We really yeah. don't. If this thing runs for longer than 30 minutes without something going wrong. That's better, better that's better than, than the JD. Yeah. yeah. All right, so, I mean, look how ancient this is. It doesn't even have a push button. I mean, it's like this thing's freaking. I got, For what we do, though, it, I like it. Yeah, though. I know. It's just less, less stuff to break. It's less doing wrong. Okay, the coils are heating up, doing coil things. That's it. Better Tur than the deer key. already. You ain't got them little program things. Just hide the key under the rug. You're mm -hmm. fine. All right, let's get the sucker off. Hey, how's it going in there? Hey, I can actually talk to you. This is crazy. <laughs> Like it. Oh, we gotta get rid of that. No. Oh. We don't we don't have backup cameras at this facility. How do you fix backup that? Backup beeps aren't a thing. Yeah, here. we ain't we ain't do that here. Oh, is it right there in the door? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's it. Man, they really make that hard to get to. Unbolt it off we there. just gotta unbolt it. You got tools no, anywhere? No plug. Can you just unplug that? Yeah. that little tab right there. Oh, I see. Yeah, there's a little tab on that side, on the, on the back side. You just gotta pull that. All right, Kubota, what the f All right, I was talking so much good things about you. Can you make the safety mechanism hard to remove? Just right here. Yeah, I've been trying. You try it. You got socket set anywhere? There we oh, go. You got her? I just took it off. Oh. Oh, it's gotta go out, that's probably why. Not in. I was pressing it in. There. That's what we're talking about. Alright. No more of that BS. Yeah, we don't really need that. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! No beeping, baby! Beep. You still got the horn, we're good. He's dead and now it won't go up. Oh, there it goes. See, the truck does charge the battery. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it was. I don't think it. I, I don't think it does because I've been running the truck. Because I mean, when I was trying, when you were backing off, it was just the battery was just clicking, like nothing. Yeah, because there's a there's an onboard charger. Yeah. I don't think the truck. I don't think the truck has. It was it. dying yesterday when we were loading the skidder yeah. out, and then I hooked the. All right, we're good. All right. Well, apparently you can whip a shit on top of the trailer if you want. We got her. Otherwise, I would have I went just... Yeah, there was that, no other way to really do that. That was pretty much it. But we got the shredder. Look at that mean mamma jamma. It's a good looking rig. It's a good looking rig. I'm about it. We're blocking three workers. We better... We'll get out of here and we'll get shred. Stay tuned. Yeah. All right. So first test of the new skid, we're going to use the shredder. So 
over here, you can see you got a strip. That's yeah, still a little. Yeah, you wrap. I'm gonna get that thing all nice and muddy. Uh, all of this grass, all this has got to go. So we've already moved a bunch of stuff. We didn't film it yet. Yes, we're gonna make moving vlogs. Just relax. But a bunch of the stuff from the old house. Actually, I'll just show you real fast. We took one truck and trailers worth of up here. Try to get some of that stuff out of the animal barn. All the extra wood, the dog kennels are here. So we've moved some stuff. Just wait, you'll, you'll have a better moving vlog. It's not that important, but you can see in here, we got stuff from the old house already packed away. And all the stuff from the ready. old animal barn. And yeah, the, the, an animal, the barn. animal stuff. So all the shelves are kind of ready to go. We got all the fish feeders, remember those? So. This is gonna be our parking lot for all the trailers. I have 20 of them, not really, but I wanna basically build this big pad. We got two loads of rock already that basically just built the road, but I need to mow the rest of it. That's all trash, we'll get rid of that. But this needs to be a big parking lot so we can just back all the trailers in and have them in a line. I can come down here, back up, and then I need to basically make a loop where we go down to the main drive and do a circle. So I'm gonna mow as much as I can today with this. It shouldn't take long, especially with the new power that we have. And uh, we're gonna run her. That way it's apples to apples to what we did with the deer earlier. And like I said, then we'll switch to the grapple. We'll go clean up the animal pasture. We're gonna put the new fence. We should be ready to go, stay tuned. All right, new Kubota, let's see what you got, mister. Let's see what you got dangling here. So when you're shredding, nobody likes shrapnel. So be extra safe. Oh, hang on. Look at how we got a there now we're now we're busy see i can grab this thing oh yeah she's locked yeah i mean it seems like a normal skid loader i mean from what i've heard this thing might not be as you know dust proof and it might be a little louder and a little bit more rattly but i'm telling you for six months out of the year when we're running in the summer i'm gonna have this bad boy open feel that nice breeze crank it up unlock it turn on the hydraulics my gosh dude butter it's butter it's buttery smooth wow all right boys here we go oh my god not even a comparison dude you don't even know that you're running a shredder dude i'm telling you that john deere would bog down so bad oh my god like you can't even feel it. You can't even tell that I have it on. This is crazy. Like it doesn't even seem like it, there's a shredder running. Like did the John Deere bog down so freaking bad doing this? It's crazy. Oh my god. This is great. It's quiet in here too, honestly. It's not bad. Oh dude, I, it's not even not even comparable. But like the power, the high flow that this thing has. It makes me wonder if my other John Deere wasn't high flow. They said it was, but it's like, dude, this is just, it's cutting it like butter. This is, oh man. Where has this been my whole life, buddy? I'll tell you what. This makes you, this, this right here, running that John Deere for a year make you appreciate something like this. This is fantastic. The ground is still a little soft. I gotta be a little care on this stuff. Hot knife and butter, baby. Really? Dude, you, like, it don't bog down one time. It's slickery out there still, yeah, I, I mean. You do the spin. But, oh my gosh, like, you can't, I'll put it this way, when you're going, you can't tell if the shredder's on or not. I couldn't hear if it was on. You can't hear it, you can't smell it, you can't see it, your power doesn't change. Like when you're going and you hit the hydraulics on the John Deere, doesn't change. You're going full speed and you just kick it on, it just goes. The speed doesn't change, it's crazy. I just mowed all this in like four minutes. And I went all, did you see me go all the way Yeah, down? I was wondering where you were going. So we gotta let this dry out a little bit. It's still wet, because I don't want to tear it up too bad. But now you can see how much space we actually have. Quite a bit, actually. There's quite a bit of room. More so than I thought. We're gonna end up mowing all this. I mean, there's quite a bit of room all the way down there. We gotta make a crossing here, but it's too wet. I don't wanna tear it up too bad. Those tracks, if you notice, are also narrow tracks. We have wide tracks coming. They should be here in about a week, which would help in the mud a little bit. But you're not really sinking too bad. 
But I mean, there's yeah, a, honestly, there's a ton of space. Those narrow ones, you didn't it wasn't that bad. Up that bad. But I mean, like here, like trailer, 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 with all the tongue sticking out this way. You pull in, you back up, you leave. Just give us a month or two, and you're gonna see perfection. Okay. And we're gonna we'll try to rock the whole thing. Bring a bunch of gravel in here, rock it, so that way it's not squishy mud. Rock will be a little expensive, but we're gonna make it work. Especially if we got a new machine. So shredder works. 10 times better. Now the biggest question is with these narrow tracks and it's still being a little mucky, can I get the grapple and go down there in the animal pen where the John Deere couldn't get to and grab some of these trees and build a pile and we're ready for a fence. You guys stay tuned. Yeah. You wanna see how fast this thing opens and closes? Yeah. I'm, con here's, what, here's my theory. Okay. John Deere wasn't high flow. That's much my theory. You don't think so? Watch. No way. Yeah. The, the deer was twice as slow as that. He didn't do that. No. I'm telling you, I don't think it was high flow. The deer was just like... Or I, or I didn't hit the turn the high flow on, but I don't know. I don't know. I, it could have been me. It could have been me. But it didn't do that before either. <laughs> I'm telling you, this thing's pumping. It's getting after it. Look, isn't this nice? The boom's halfway up and I can still crawl out and actually do things? That's crazy. Wait, so what do I need to take care of here? You this one, we gotta to get rid of this one. Like this... That loose brush needs cleared. Yeah, I need to get this one because this is gonna be the petting zoo area, we think, at least. So I need to take that. It's gonna be hard. Yeah. It's gonna be hard. It's still a little freaking soft. Come on, son, what are you doing? If you get up Ripping. there on the high side of it, you could probably push it over here to this one. I might be able to get, and that's a little flatter, so I can kind of go there and push. So maybe I'll go behind it and just try to doze it that, yeah, way. that way. We'll see what happens. Oh yeah? good given the soil condition probably turn into a mud pit if it rains but i mean we got her the brush is out of the way the brush is out of the way i will i don't know if it's because the door's open the narrow tracks or i'm not used to it i feel significantly 
less safe in that than I do in the normal skid loader. Right, like the doors open. As I'm going and like like at any point I feel like I'm gonna flip backwards or flip on, like I don't know why. Yeah. I just didn't quite feel. No. But it probably it probably doesn't help that when I hit the track at one it's just it feels like I'm on ice basically because mm -hmm. it is still frozen. But we got the brush out of the way. Now we just gotta grind these out, which shouldn't be a problem. Take that take the shredder and mow them all down, get a stump grinder or pluck them out with the mini. Either way, we should be able to get her done. But now that this roadway's clear to come down, we gotta bring all the fencing supplies and everything. That's already mowed, you guys saw all that, so I think we're pretty much ready. But I would say overall my impression is for sure there's more hydraulic power. It seems a little quicker, a little more zippy, and I wasn't even on bunny mode by the way. That was normal mode. I do feel less sa safe, but it might be because the door's open and that's just making me feel like one with the earth and I get weird. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know why. Maybe, again, I didn't feel unsafe when I was shredding, but it's just, you know when you get in a machine, you really know it. I just don't quite know it yet. We're getting there, slowly but surely. But let me know, do you think I made a mistake getting the old Voda? Do you think I should've got a cat, Bobcat, JCB, ACV, ABC, one, two, three? I mean, what well, What would you have got? For 18 grand less, you can get one of these, or you can go spend all your money on bells and whistles that you don't need and we'll probably break and go get a cat. Maybe this thing sucks and I'll trade it in for a cat. Maybe I'll eat my words, I don't know. I think, again, my opinion, I think the John Deere was a lemon, I think most John Deere's are totally fine. And any of these, if you're paying upwards of 60 grand at 300 hours, should have nothing more than a routine oil change, okay? Nothing else should be broken on these suckers. So I'll keep you guys updated how the Kubota does. Uh, if any of you guys are Kubota users and have any tips and tricks for me, uh, maybe I'm not figuring stuff out. I'm, gonna, I'm planning to toss the wide tracks on it on a day like today probably would have helped. We're always in kind of wet soil conditions. So wide tracks I think look better and have a little bit more control. And we're not in a residential area where we have to squeeze into tight areas. We don't really care. So let me know. And also let me know what attachments do we not have. We have shredders, grapples, buckets, forks, bale spears. So let me know what are we missing. Packers, post drivers, augers, snow blowers. Oh, I have a snow blade. Let me know. Because I'm going to plan on getting a bunch more attachments for this sucker. As you can tell, we're starting from scratch out here. Lots of trees, lots of grooming, lots of paths to make, roads to make, fences to build. This thing's gonna be a workhorse all summer long. I'm looking forward to it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video because we're in.